A political crisis in Pakistan with a dramatic arrest of former Prime Minister Imran Khan on corruption charges. Khan was taken from a courthouse by paramilitary forces. His supporters are calling it an abduction. It led to violent protests across the country and a government clampdown on social media and social gatherings. CTV's John Vanavali Rao reports. Tonight in Pakistan, some fear growing chaos and anarchy. With unrest breaking out in cities around the country, police using tear gas to fend off demonstrators. Angry not just about the arrest of former Prime Minister Imran Khan, but how it happened. What have they done, says this woman? Is it not hooliganism? Protected by bulletproof shields, this was the former PM earlier in the day in a wheelchair taken into a courthouse. Or inside, wearing sunglasses, you can see him as government anti-graft agents burst in, whisking away the 70-year-old to an armored vehicle which drove off. Khan supporters calling it not an arrest, but an abduction and claiming he was assaulted. He was dragged, he was beaten on his head with wooden sticks. Khan, a former cricket star, was ousted as prime minister just over a year ago. He's claimed it was illegal and a Western conspiracy and has called for early elections. Last November, he was shot and injured at a rally and faces corruption charges, which he says are politically motivated. His supporters shouting the army is behind this terrorism. Khan is Pakistan's seventh former prime minister to be arrested and members of his political party calling for protests. He says for Khan, we are willing to lay down our lives. At a violent demonstration in one city, a protester was killed when police fired warning shots towards a crowd. Several protesters and police were also injured. Some demonstrators say they won't leave until Khan is freed, with officials saying he's set to appear at an anti-graft tribunal on Wednesday. John Venavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.